remember one verse from Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Wicked man runs when nobody's chasing him, but righteous man courageous as a lion. And that verse came to me, and that was encouraging for me. It's like, okay, I'm doing the right thing. I need to have that courage and continue doing, and God will provide. We have lack of prosthetist technician in the United States, and we don't have war. Imagine how big our need is in Ukraine. I heard multiple, multiple numbers, but we know that there's thousands and thousands that need help. Right now, only on our list, we have over 770 people who apply for our program. And we have only 53. So it's like how much more need is. So the more longer we are going and seeing that war is continuous, continuing, I see that people need to be longer in this. We need to look bigger picture and help that it's like, and even if war stops, it doesn't mean that right away they will need our support. So our uh, rule is to bring uh, Ukrainians and PTs here for approximately three, four weeks. So when they arrive in airport, we have crowd of 100, 200, 300 people. We sing Ukrainian songs. We welcome them. Then right away from airport, we are bringing them to protest. We feed them these shrinkers, these liners, and then let them rest after road for one, two, three days. Then we bring them in the morning, we choose what products we are using. For right now, Extremity is first product to go for, for me because I can, within 45 minutes, I had the quickest time where soldiers arrive into airport and I got him to office in 45 minutes. He was walking already on prosthetic. And that moment is very crucial mentally for them. They were waiting for a few months, sometimes seven months, eight months during healing, during captivity. In this group, I have one person who spent over seven months just in captivity. And here for him to come, and right away start putting pressure and start walking. It's so big moment. He can right away take picture and send it to families like, oh, I'm capable to stand again. Next step for us to let them easy in, but slowly every day build up time where they can be more comfortable using prosthetic. Plus, they search like, oh, I was provided this prosthetic in United States. For them, United States is something that they want to be look like. Why Ukraine has trouble with Russia? Because they be, uh, want to be as a West, not as a East. They want to be as a 21st century, not 19th century. They want to be have freedom. And what was interesting to see that one of the first questions that they start asking, oh, can I run? How much I can carry? I want to get back to the front lines. Like, no, 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 no. It's like, please learn how to walk first before you go somewhere. And these, that approach, at first I thought, like, who knows? They're going to just go back and just, like, get to their families. Like, come on, guys, you are wounded veterans why you will go to front line and no they want to go front line according to my last count it was around 10 people went back to front line in different level but one of guys like literally didn't even stop at his house he went back to front line to say hi to his 
team to his brother's soldiers. <laughs> 